Charles Barkley, he comes out and says, um, uh, I think that we're talking about the topic of Caitlin Clark during the Inside the NBA, and he says in his own words towards the WNBA players, he said, y'all should be thanking Caitlin Clark. Do you agree with him? No, I will chip in here because <laughs> uh, because I do agree with uh, Charles Barkley. She's the reason I tuned into the Final Four. She is, She's the only reason they're getting these charter flights. She's the reason that they're getting all this attention to begin with. I'm being serious. People like C and I and those people that barely watched any of these females before – we would not tune in if it wasn't for her, bro. Because you you could say, okay, Angel Reese played for LSU. Angel Reese doesn't get that much hype if not for Caitlin Clark involved as well. Uh, <laughs> so, so that's the thing. Uh, 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 Charles Barkley is spot on. Uh, she is giving the sport attention, and the girls are hating it. Isn't this what y'all asked for? This is what y'all been They're asking. They're not hating it. Mm. Nobody's hating it. They, oh. are, they, are hating. they are hating because they were all tweeting, not all, but a lot of them were tweeting like hateful stuff, including Angel Reese, which is why she deleted the tweet. Oh, so they were they, they were hating. And uh and see, I know Caitlin Clark is another white athlete you don't like and you don't want to give credit. Give the girl credit. I don't have to worship no white athlete just because you want me wow. to. Oh, come on, see? give them credit. <laughs> give her credit. When that have I not given her credit? Oh, Two I... ago by mentioning her turnovers. <laughs> you could have mentioned something good. There you go. So I, why? Why did I have to? What? What good did I have to mention? <laughs> Same thing. Keo just mentioned. What mm -hmm. is find something good, man? Uh, uh, she, she is. She is I the reason. About LeBron, go. Um, <laughs> he's a top five player all time. Okay, thank you. That's great that you did that. But there's a, lot, there's a lot more to, to go with. To See how easy wrong. that was? See, uh, uh, you could just do that. So anyways, uh, I, 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 agree, I agree that she is the reason all these girls are even getting attention. I agree. Charles is spot on. And Charles, actually, I always say this. If, uh, if I could pick an athlete, former now to ever have a beer with it would be charles barkley i think charles barkley's awesome i think he's even if he's not right i think charles barkley is real and i think charles is humble i really i value charles's opinion i love charles so just want to add that but i agree uh caitlin clark's the reason these girls are even getting attention all right let me get in there all right so you said something that was um interesting to me you said um, Angel Reese, the only reason why she was basically getting any uh, exposure was because of Caitlin Clark, right? I think she in, a, amplified Angel Reese's status, yes. You think she amplified Angel Reese's status? <laughs> yes. I, uh, I, yes. I could say the same exact thing for Caitlin Clark. Previous to the, the uh, LSU game, 95% of the world didn't know who the hell Caitlin Clark was. But they could at least recognize Angel Reese, and and that's and and that was due to Angel Reese mocking her and doing the ring thing. That's how Caitlyn Clark got on there. That's when she. That's when everybody started um paying attention to her. And after Miss Biden invited them to the to the White House, even though they lost and all of that, that's where she got the credit for. So had it not been for Angel Reese. <laughs> We probably would. Caitlin Clark would just be another good, good shooting, um, college basketball uh, girl that um, we weren't talking about, who didn't win a championship, who's just um, just a great shooter. That's all we would have <laughs> been talking about. But Angel Reese has so many other things going for her outside of just basketball. She she used her platform and propelled herself, not Caitlin, not Caitlin Clark. Caitlin didn't propel her. Angel Reese propelled herself. And she is a big reason why a lot of people are even watching the WNBA right now. I guarantee you, if she had a state at LSU another year, if she had a state at LSU another year and Caitlin went to the WNBA and you compare ratings of LSU games versus 
fever games, I guarantee you the LSU games would rank higher. Yeah, so I would say the I would say the both of them though. Uh, I disagree because uh, the highest rated WNBA games are Caitlin Clark. Uh, the, uh, uh, they She has the highest rated. And I bet, I haven't looked it up. If I look up Chicago, what are they, Sky, uh, mm-hmm. as opposed to Indiana Fever ratings, I guarantee you, I will bet a thousand bucks Indiana Fever are getting better. I'm not saying, I, I'm not saying, they're pushing Caitlin Clark. <laughs> they're not pushing Angel Reese. Angel Reese is still going off the push that she created for herself two years ago. The uh, well, why is that? I think it's because Caitlin Clark plays like Steph Curry, and it's something that we've never seen women see, shoot those threes see, like that. Do, see, do you have a problem that the WNBA is pushing Caitlin Clark to be that? I guess the face. Do I have a problem with it? Yeah. Um. No, I don't have a problem with that. I. I I don't have a problem with them. Them they picked her. That's who they picked. They picked that her to be the uh the face. And it's only because, like I said, it was because she was the hot name. She was bring, they wanted to keep that momentum from the final mm-hmm. four in the whole college career of uh Kate. Well, the last two years, the last year basically of Caitlin Clark's career to um transfer to the WNBA. So I don't mind them riding the wave they're supposed to. Because yes, but why are they want riding the wave? I think it's because she plays like Steph, and it's some like we've never seen a girl play no. like that. Bro, I don't think it's because of her play as much as her marketability right now, because of how of, of how everybody is everybody is um trying to rally behind her. Oh, how's the how the girls getting paid this much less than the boys? And Caitlin Clark is this and that and the other, that and the other, and she goes in the league and she's basically laying an egg. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. They she has so much talk behind her right now. It's not because she's exciting to watch. I don't think you think you thought she she, that you thought you think that people look at that and be like, oh man, oh my gosh, she's so exciting like Steph. No. Nobody I, I do. I do. I find her exciting for a female. Like you, I've never seen a female shoot <laughs> that way and stuff. Like Yvonne that. never watched. How many? How, how many? How many fever games <laughs> have you watched this year? One. You watched a whole fever game. One. I think it was her first one. I don't. Hey, but I, I haven't don't, watched Chicago Sky. Hey, hey, I, 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 don't, hey, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm or saying, any other team. I didn't even watch any other team. Hey, I'm I don't, saying a best, the best player in the league. Is in Las Vegas. <laughs> the best player in the league is in Las Vegas, but she didn't have this whole, um, this whole push behind her, like, um, like because the Clark. play style might have not been as fun. I don't see, know the girls, so I don't. See, I can't see. Play. I see. I disagree with you, and that we could debate that another day. But I think the best player is uh, Brianna Stewart, and I I feel the same way like you. I feel like Brianna Stewart didn't get that proper push. Also, but uh, but here's the thing. Here, too. Here's the thing. Like we always like a good. Uh, I mean, I hate to put in that term because she don't like the term. But we always like that good villain versus hero story in anything, sports, movies. We like that. And Angel Reese was portrayed as the villain, while Caitlin Clark was portrayed as the hero. So it became a story, and that's what helped bring the game along. I don't think, I think that, you know, and this is no disrespect to you, Mr. Box Office or C or anybody that's tuning in. I think for the masses, yes, y'all may hear about the rumblings where people are saying, you know, um, there's a few handful of people that's in the WNBA that's taking shots at Caitlin Clark. But if you remember right after South Carolina winning the national championship, they, they were congratulating Caitlin Clark, thanking her. For what she's done for the, the women's game. And that's the, and I'm using just that small thing. But there's a lot of people that say thank you to Caitlin Clark for what she's doing for the women's game. We gotta stop focusing on the negativity. The game is growing. Let's focus on the game. Cause as you can see, the Indiana Fever, they haven't looked too hot and they had the number one pick the last two years. Aaliyah Boston and Caitlin Clark. And they got one win to show for it. And as much offense as she brings, 
they're the second lowest scoring team in the NBA, WNBA. Second lowest scoring team. So I don't want to focus on the negative. What Charles Barkley said, is he wrong? No, he's not wrong. It's true. She did help the WNBA. But that's what you're supposed to do. When Magic and Bird came into the, w, the NBA, they helped the NBA. When Michael got to the NBA, they helped, he helped the NBA. When Shaq and Kobe helped elevate, you're supposed to have, you're supposed to market your stars. And the WNBA should market Caitlin Clark and Angel. But here's Reed. my thing. I, my problem with the whole statement is they're giving way too much credit just to her when it's the whole rookie class. The whole but I think, but then what you've play. heard, which is like I think like like I said, we're focusing on the negative, we're focusing on the cup being half empty. We've heard that this is the best rookie class in the history of the WNBA. That's not something that just was made up. People have said it. Uh-huh. And I as much as I, I like what Keel said about Angel Reese, because I am an Angel Reese fan, Cameron Brink has played well this year. She's she hasn't been maybe what other people thought, but she had a game winning block the other night. Like this rookie class is playing well. Oh, uh, Cardoso never even played yet. So I'm just sitting here and I'm saying, man, instead of focusing on a negative talk, let's appreciate. Go watch a Connecticut Sun game, man. Man, uh, I'm telling y'all, go watch um, it. Deliberate. Go watch it. <laughs> um, um, when, it, when it comes to this, when it comes to the, the – the, um, as far as this question goes, I, I agree with it, but I, I actually don't agree with it because, and I'm going to take something off of excess um, and through the past blogs that we've done throughout this year, I think Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese is always going to be connected to each other, no matter, no matter what. With, no matter what, how the story you want to spin it or bring it, it's always going to be connected when it comes to that Iowa game and LSU game in the championship game, that's when everybody started paying attention. Now people could say, Oh, I've been watching basketball, women's basketball before that. I think some of that's cap. And I think some of them is true because I, there are some big college basketball fans like X who follows it as long as I know. But when Yvonne, Yvonne has never watched, no women's college basketball game. He talks all that noise about them, and he actually watched it this past year. And if he says it because of Caitlin Clark, then maybe it, it was because of Caitlin Clark. But I feel like, I feel like this year it was Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Angel Reese, when she won that title, she it was a bigger story that grew Caitlin Clark's name up. And I think earlier this past season, I think Caitlin Clark kind of just elevated it more. Um, I knew that I kind of know the story in the beginning of the season. There was some drama going on with LSU. Uh, Angel Reese missed a couple of games. She had the, some drama with the team and with the coach and all that. And Caitlin and they actually picked it up with LSU. But Caitlin Clark kind of elevated this and uh, uh, pointed the trajectory up for this for women's college basketball. And I think that's why people are so excited about that's why they are talking about the Juju Watkins. Juju Watkins, she was like, yo, I'm I'm hyped about the I'm motivated, inspired with the hype of the the women's women's basketball right now. We with g- g- females like Paige Buckers, you got South Carolina coming back. So I think I think this is definitely good. But what Caitlin Clark did this past season from how she was scoring, how she was playing the game. Um, breaking records. I think she just elevated it and brought that status up and made her name even bigger this past season. And obviously, she definitely deserved what what's what's happening right now from the sponsorships to getting these uh the the TV deals, the ratings. That's how everybody gets paid, man. Um, that's right. how the players get paid. That's how you get the charter flights. That's how you get the shoe deals and all that, man. That's how you get, you know, get uh put uh, your game get put on television. We never seen a WNBA get televised as much as we see it now. We I don't know how many times we have talked about um women's basketball this season. This is the most times that we ever talked about it throughout any years that we've done the NBS show. Like we talked about it like I don't know how many times. Like I was talking off the air with X. X was like, "Man, how many times we gotta talk about this?" I was like, "I was like, yo, but this is good though, man. This is good though." But I do kind of think that 
they they should be thinking not just Caitlin Clark, but that draft class also. Though, but Caitlin Clark ha- ha- definitely had a huge impact, though. Nobody's saying she didn't have a huge impact. Because I look forward when I see Caitlin Clark play, I want to watch it. When I see Angel Reese play, I want to see what she could do. And guys, uh, females like Rak- Rakia Jackson, Cameron Brink, and you got Asia Wilson, Brianna Stewart, Sabrina Loneska, and all those females out there. I think I think people are excited. Joel and- Lloyd's been balling. I mean, they, they, yeah. they got some good players in the WNBA, yeah. man. My thing is, here's what's happening. You feel like they're not giving enough credit to Angel Reese. No, I think that they're not giving enough credit to the the entire rookie class. The entire rookie class. That what the WNBA is banking on is that wave from college to transfer to the WNBA because historically it just has not. They've they've been great college female players that have gone to the WNBA and just never never watched them again, right? But you watched them the whole time while they were in college. So they're trying to they're trying to since there's, there's such a, a buzz going on about them, they're trying to ride that wave. Because if you think about it, the Final Four wasn't nothing but what two three months ago, and then their mm-hmm. season started earlier this month. So it's not like that whole long layoff like we do with the have the, with the NBA draft, and and then they have uh you have the NBA draft, and then you got like four or five months before you even get to see them in that in that uniform. This was really this was fairly quick. They the, the turnaround from the draft to the uh, to them being in the league. And and I know I know we're gonna get out of here after that. I know we, we're going just a lot, but I'll just say this: you know, as far as Angel Reese and Kaylin Clark. Angel Reese's view, and I, I'm going to use a Marvel kind of, um, I guess, metaphor or whatever, but she was at the point as like a Thanos in Infinity War, and she won. She snapped her finger. She got the championship. And then Endgame was Iron Man, them coming back <laughs> and knocking <laughs> off um, Thanos. But here's what I'll say. Um, see, as much as I love Angel Reese, I think Cameron brings some phenomenal talent. Even though I called her Van Horn, I know Keo thinks I, I think she's just not good. I do think she's good. <laughs> I think Rakia Jackson is good. I look at this draft class. It doesn't matter that Angel Reese won a national championship. It doesn't matter that Cardoza. I look at this draft class like I look at the 03 NBA draft class. Yeah, you got Melo. Yeah, you got Bosch. But Caitlin Clark is LeBron James in the, in the WNBA's mind. Oh. And... and it doesn't matter mind. about the rest. Oh, <laughs> in their mind. but but here's my thing: they picked her. That's my whole thing. It's but, only because they picked her. But, not, but her it. numbers, her numbers spoke for themselves. She's a baller. She's a bucket. But we looking at it now, though. Is she? Yeah, no. Okay, but what I'm saying now, is I just read a stat. She's the fastest female in WNBA yeah. history to 100 points and 50 assists. LeBron, didn't, LeBron, LeBron didn't make I, the playoffs his first year. I was uh, – no. LeBron, But LeBron was way better than her his first year. I see the uh, – Well, I you're seen, only, what, six games in? It's, it's hard I, to – you have to – give her some time. Give her some time. I seen, uh, I seen something LeBron said because he, he was actually one of the – People that was actually in support of Caitlin Clark and the, ex- the similar, same thing that LeBron said. Uh, the Indiana Fever had the the first overall pick the last two seasons. Their team sucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody expects this team to be. I, I mean, how good? They're gonna be good, and, bro. They're like, like they had two All Stars this last season. Like, did we did we really expect they this team to be? Pick. Like I, I didn't expect this team to be improved drastically. You know, I knew they're going to have some struggles, not struggles like this. I didn't expect Caitlin Clark to lead the league in turnovers, but uh, like, like I said, I, I, you do got to give them some time, and I, I think, I think things will pan out, not just for her, but every single they rookie that's in good. the league. This could be the best draft class <coughs> in WNBA history, but. They're they're banking on Caitlin Clark being LeBron James of the WNBA. That's what they're banking on. We'll see. All right. Time will tell. All right. Real well, quick. with that being, go real ahead. Quick, real quick. Uh, Yvonne. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> when I say when I say 
LeBron James has four championships. What's the first thing you say? Impressive. Shut up. Oh, they got like, no, he says it's <laughs> title's no, record. No. You're going you're gonna to say it's finals <laughs> record, correct? No, I said impressive. <laughs> no, that's because you that's because you thought about it. We were having a normal conversation. That's not what you would say. No, but typically, not- typically- I, think, I think I think people have me uh completely wrong. I only hate on LeBron when it comes to the GOAT conversation. Like when somebody says LeBron's GOAT, I think that's absurd. And a finals record is a part of that. But like in general, he I see him as a top five player all the time. So I only get pissed off at the Goat crap. I don't like that. Or, or or like when you said earlier this year, he's still the best player in the NBA. Hell no, man. This ain't 2015. But like that's, those are the things that piss me off. If somebody said LeBron top five player all the time, cool. But I people, this is what you don't get, man. Everybody don't have to agree with you. Everybody don't have to agree with you, man. You and you act like if but, if but you matter, agree with me on the goat, so I, I like that. See. Right, I, I do agree with you in the group. I'm also 45 years old. There's nobody you're gonna ever tell me is gonna be better than Michael Jordan. Good, I like that. All That's right, man. Well, good. Well, good. At least okay. you guys agree on something. With that being said, let's go to our shout outs. Hey man, I want to go first. You know, shout out to you know you gentlemen for coming on here, man. Talking some WNBA with me. Speaking of WNBA, I bought 2K, I bought oh my PlayStation 5. But I bought it for the, the, the new college that's coming out next month. But I'm playing a WNBA season with wow. my daughter. Woo! You, you wow. and your daughter are the only ones that have a copy of that game. I swear to wow. God. Wow. It's 2K. It's 2K. The WNBA teams are on 2K. But um, I wouldn't play that game if it wasn't for that. But shout out to the WNBA. Yvonne's being disrespectful again. It's upsetting. It's, just, it's upsetting, Yvonne. It's upsetting that you take hey. shots at the women. I, but, really, um, I really don't mean to take shots at the women, bro. <laughs> but I mean the ratings show I ain't the only one. <laughs> hey man, hey, it don't have. I listen. I want to mm-hmm. put this out there. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be the most popular sport. It doesn't matter about popularity. I mean, of course, that's how you make money. I get that. Soccer, they on their way. <laughs> but, but, but. <laughs> just because it's not the most popular sport in the world doesn't mean that it's not a good product. That's all I'm saying. So but, so, but, but X, is it a good product? Because WNBA has never profited, and it's actually the NBA has kept them in business. So, like, I get, I get what y'all are saying. Like, both of you have daughters. I get it. Like, y'all's intention for the WNBA and, and women's sports is really good. Like, I applaud that. Salute. I might have a daughter one day. But we got to be real, too, though. They've never profited, and they would never be – uh in business, if it wasn't for the NBA holding them That's, down, yeah, but I, th- I think you need help from others, you know, to keep growing. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'll say this: this is my issue when the people talk bad about the WNBA. Stop saying that y'all can beat these girls one on one. So all my fellas out there that say you can beat these girls one on one, stop. I got a girl right now that's going to LSU that would smoke y'all one on one. Jada Richard, shout out to LLCA. She's going to um, L- um, LSU this upcoming year. She'll be a freshman. Y'all not beating that girl one-on-one. So stop with the nonsense. I'm telling y'all, y'all disrespecting these girls. These girls are talented. Don't think because they're a girl they can't beat you. This is what they do for a living. They do it every day. They get up and do this every single day while we're, you know, going to work and we're, eating out and we're hanging out with our families these girls are putting up jump shots put some respect on these women's names <laughs> hey, a lot of a lot of us wouldn't even score a point on one on, on one of them girls in, in the, in the, the, the last girl on the bench in the WNBA's worst team we wouldn't even score a point on them <laughs> so I mean I, I I agree with you on that X man I really do 